All right, let's get to it. After we get our white base laid, we're going to get the drawing done. Check that out. This is what we'll be painting today. Me personally, for most pieces, I like to take care of my background first just to fill up a lot of space. Now this here is the main event. This is what's going to build the painting and take up most of the time. Filling everything in and adding layers to these colors. This is where everything comes to life. After doing this for so many years, you get real familiar with the colors and the brands that you use. So I know like how many layers a particular color may need, how much I should loosen the paint as far as like using mediums and things of that nature. Now I'll admit, I'm not too much of a big fan of the beginning stages. It's extremely time consuming and sometimes it don't look like anything's changing, but it does have its advantages. It's like you're in another world you don't know what's going on. You're away from all the problems. The best part about adding layers to colors, that it's not the technical part, so you don't really have to look at no reference photo. So it's a good time to just chill, cut the phone and TV off. Don't look at no internet. Don't check no messages. And just relax for a couple of hours and do your thing, man. Do some, Get some thinking done. If I'm not just in complete silence, I'm usually listening to a podcast or an audio book, depending on my mood. I listen to some music. If it's some good music, I try to stay in a good mind state when I don't want to hear a bunch of junk. I don't always work in segments like this, even though it's helpful. I'm doing it for the video's sake. I knew ahead of time that I was going to do a video with this. Um, sometimes I'm all over the place. That's why I don't record too much. I'm going to get in the habit of doing so. I mean, why not? We have all these outlets to take advantage of. Give back to the world. You may have noticed that I still have spots that I haven't filled in yet. And here's why. The spots that I haven't filled in are their skin tone and the whites. And reason being is because those are the lightest colors and I don't want to accidentally transfer paint. Like I don't want my paint brushes to still have a bit of blue paint in them and my white clouds don't come out popping white. So I think. I found that it's just best to take care of that last. I mean, me personally, that's just a little technique that I came up with. Now, this is my favorite part for two reasons. One is that you get to see your masterpiece come to life after so much time of doing all the techniques early in the video. And second reason is I finally get to get up out this chair and go do something else. Lower my back hurt. This is also my favorite part of playing back on the time lapse. Because when you learn colors, a lot of that can look like the same thing. But when you add in the black outlines, like you really see the character of the picture come to life. Here's a little secret. When I do characters or pictures of people, usually the very last thing I do before I write my logo is to add the white dots in their eyes. But unfortunately, I forgot to add that in the video.
I truly appreciate y'all rocking out with me through this journey. If you enjoy this video and think I should do more, let me know in the comment section wherever this video is uploaded at. If you find some things helpful or is there some things that you would like to see, let me know. I'm really proud of myself on this one. I edit this video quick. It's amazing how this time lapse can put over 24 hours into five minutes or so. Well, let's see what we came up with. Happy birthday, Aaron. I hope you enjoy. This was an Etsy order. You won't be five forever, but you can always watch this video.